I swear I can't take time off anymore. I leave you guys in charge for two fucking weeks. And when I get back, my inbox is filled with stories about a Make Women Great Again conference in Florida. And I'm starting to think you guys let that happen just so that I wouldn't take another week off. So yeah, Mansplain Con 2020 is coming to Orlando from the people that brought us going to the mall in sweatpants and promises to teach women how to lose weight, land a husband, make babies, and avoid, quote, toxic bullying feminist dogma, end quote. See, according to their website, the problem with women these days is that the feminists are teaching them to be like men. And if these assholes were a representative sample, I can see why that would be a problem. And if you want tickets to this all-male speaker lineup, you better act fast. Quick before they cancel it due to lack of interest. Tickets are only $1,999. But if you buy them now, they'll give you a 50% discount. Because the price is like their cocks. About half as big as they said it would be. Unless I make it sound like sexism is more stupid than deadly, I should also mention the guy in Delaware that was arrested for throwing an incendiary device at a Planned Parenthood. 18-year-old Samuel James Gulick was charged with intentionally damaging a building that provides reproductive health services and maliciously damaging a building used in interstate commerce through the use of fire or destructive device because Delaware has really specific laws. And apparently he was also charged with possession of an unregistered destructive device about five days earlier when he was caught with an IED outside a different Planned Parenthood. Now, Luckily for everyone involved, he's all kinds of stupid. First of all, he spray-painted a slogan on the side of the building before he threw the bomb, in full view of their security cameras. On top of that, the bomb pretty much put itself out when it exploded, so there was minimal damage and nobody was hurt. But there's only so long we can count on their stupidity saving our asses. And look, it's not like the anti-abortion folks don't already know this is a byproduct of their rhetoric. Sure, this was the act of one single person, but everybody who has ever implied that abortion is murder shares in some of the blame. And they'll still share in it when the next idiot is successful and manages to actually kill people. But speaking of Planned Parenthood, I actually do have a little bit of good news to close on. According to Planned Parenthood's annual report, over the last couple of years, they performed a record number of abortions, up 4% from the previous two-year period. And look, I get nobody is rooting for more abortions, right? Like, even the most ardent pro-choice advocates don't measure their success in the number of terminated fetuses. But given the draconian bullshit the GOP is doing to restrict access, it's a damn good sign to see that the number is still on the rise. And it also means more snacks at the next American Atheist Convention. And on that brief glimmer of good news, I'll wrap things up and hand you back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.